Hi, this is Jason Gorman from Codemanship with another Code Smell of the Week. This week I'm going to be looking at a code smell called Divergent Change, which is when classes have more than one distinct responsibility, that is, they have more than one reason to change. And this is a violation of the single responsibility design principle. So I have a, a class called Account here, which has a bunch of methods relating to the operations of a, a bank account, credit, debit, and so on. But it also has a method called 2XML, which is responsible for serializing the account's data to a specific XML string format. Uh, the danger here, of course, is the format might change, and then we have to go in and edit our account class um, when that shouldn't really be necessary. So we want to separate these two by extracting a new class that's going to handle the serialization. Now, extract class in Eclipse, the automated refactoring, doesn't work very well. It only knows how to extract classes with specified fields from the original class. But I want to extract a class with a specified method. So I'm going to have to do this the long way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new class, which is our extracted class. I'm going to call that account XML serializer. Seems like a sensible name. OK, now I'm a bit paranoid. Couldn't possibly have broken anything but uh, I'm going to run the tests anyway. OK, and what we need now is we want to move the 2XML method across to this new class, which means we need a target, a field, an instance of account XML serializer, like so. Again, couldn't possibly have broken anything, but uh, you never know. Better safe than sorry. So let's run the tests again. Looking good. So now we have a target for a move method refactoring. So we can just go Alt Shift V and it's already set up for us. It's going to move to XML. We need the, the actual account as a parameter so that this method can get at the fields. And um, we're going to keep the original method as a delegate so that we're, we're still um, maintaining the account class's obligations in the tests. So we're not breaking any contracts here. OK, and of course run the tests again. So there you go, we've extracted a new class which has the 2XML method on it. The knowledge of how to serialize is on this new class. And we've maintained the contract between account and its clients, in this case the bank account tests.